In this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between using sew, move and sew, and stitch together. You'll find these three options under inside the UV editor, under the drop down menu, cut and sew, sew, move and sew, and stitch together. And you will also find two of these options in the UV toolkit under cut and sew tab, sew, stitch together A to B and B to A, but not move and sew. And the third option to get access to these, uh, let me select an object, with the object selected and the edges selected. If you hold down shift, right click hold, you'll get access to stitch together, sew, and move and sew. So let me show you what the differences are. So here I have two objects and they both have been automatically unwrapped. So here's the cube. I just went and selected the cube, went to create and did automatic unwrap to get the UVs. So I'm going to switch over to edges. So you need to switch over to edges in order to use sew, move and sew and stitch together. And let me actually, let me move some of these out of the way so we have a little bit more space. If you use sew command, so I'm going to switch over to an edge, select an edge. To apply sew, this will take the selected edge and it will sew those edges together between another shell, another UV shell, but not move the UV shells. It will move the two edges into the center between each other. So we apply sew, you can see that it maintained the location of each shell, but it took the UV shell on those edges and distorted them. So that's what sew does. It sews the selected edges without moving the UV shells. If you use stitch together, this will take one of the shells and move it to the other. So you can do this A to B or B to A, depending which UV shell you want to move. So if I select the edge here on the bottom and use A to B, it will take the first selected shell and move it to the second or vice versa, depending how you want to move those edges or those UV shells and stitch along those edges. And then if you use cut and sew and move and sew, this will essentially do the same thing or very similar thing as what Stitch Together does. It simply takes one UV shell, moves it to this uh, to the other one, and stitches it along that edge. Now, where the difference comes in between Stitch Together and Move and Sew is if you have one of these shells smaller. So let's say uh, the textile density, and this shell is a lot smaller than the other one, and I select an edge and I apply Stitch Together, it will take one of the UV shells, and depending on which one you use, either A to B or B to A, and it will match the textile density to the other UV shell. So if I wanted the opposite way, I can do A to B or B to A. And it will take one of these shells and match the size and the textile density of the other. Now, move and sew does not do that. Move and sew will take simply the two edges, and when you apply move and sew, it will distort while moving the UV shell, but it will keep the textile density of one UV shell and the other at what they were before you used move and sew. So that's the major difference between stitch together and move and sew. So those three are the primary differences between using sew, stitch together, and move and sew. Now let me select this one where it has a few bevels on this cube, and I'm gonna show you another option. So for this particular one, I also did automatic unwrap, just want to create automatic to get the the shell, uh, the unwrapped quick automatic apply to it. So let me go ahead and uh, do a stitch together or uh, move and sew to some of these shells. So I'm gonna take this edge right here, select it, and I'm gonna apply stitch together. Of course, I don't wanna apply sew because it's gonna distort it. That's not what I want. I want to move one of those shells and attach it to the other while maintaining or changing the textile density of those shells. So here I have the two shells combined and stitched together along that edge. Now, I have an additional edge right here that I want to go ahead and sew it together as well. So what I can do is uh, stitch together in this case will not work. It will not stitch it together because uh, these two edges are kind of uh, joined together. They are, they are connected by a vertex. So stitch together in this case is not going to work. However, if you want to, if you have two UV shells that are very close to each other, sewing is a perfect option to use. So in this case, you can just sew them 
and they will be sewn together. So for any of your UV shells that are very close together and you don't want to move them, but you want to just simply sew the selected edges and kind of uh, merge them, uh, stitch them together and slightly moving them, that's, this is the perfect option to use. So for example, let me see, I just want to find another UV shell that's uh, connected with this edge. So for example, if you have two UV shells right here and you just simply want to uh, keep the location of each UV shell, you don't want to move them as you use any of these functions, just simply select that edge and then sew them together. The shells will be kept in their location while stitching along that edge. Now, if you use move and sew, one will be moved to the other. So this is a perfect option. And whenever you have UV edges, whether they are attached to your UV shell, if it's one UV shell or not, or it's multiple, but they're very close together, sewing might be an option for you to use. Otherwise, you can just use stitch together or move and sew. So that's the only time I use sew is when the edges are very close together and I just want to go ahead and not move my UV shells. I just kind of stitch them together. But for the most time, and for the most part, I just simply select an edge and I either move, use move and sew or I use stitch together and uh, depending. If I want to have one of those shells match the textile density from one UV shell to the other. In this case, it would be B2A. So those are the differences and example scenarios on when you might want to use one versus the other. Now, if you want to learn from complete beginning of how to use the UV editor and all the functions you need to start with, I have an extensive Maya Foundation home study course where in the third module, we spend an entire full module covering the UV editor and how to get started with it. You can download it right now by hitting the link in the description box, or if you're watching this on the website worldleveldesign.com, there'll be a link to it in there as well.